Hi guys, and uh, welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day as a Vegan on Slimming World. Um, apologise, these are, I, I apologise that these are a bit few and far between at the moment, but um, I'm just really busy, so I'm doing my best, so sorry about that. Um, basically, today is a Saturday and it's about 12.30 and I've had a really busy week at work, so this morning I just lazed about for the whole morning and... I haven't actually eaten anything and all I've drank is just one bottle of water, um, which is one of my 750ml bottles, so um, sorry about the light, it's a bit bizarre. But anyway, I'm starving hungry, so I'm having like a quite a big lunch and then I'll just have like a normal dinner. But I was like, I need to go to the shop because I've got hardly anything in the house, fresh. But um, I thought if I walk down to the shop and then look around the shop, and go from there, then I'm just gonna end up buying rubbish because I'm so, oh, my tummy's just rambled because I'm so hungry. Um, so I thought, no, come on, you can do this. Stay on plan, like don't give yourself a reason not to be on plan. So stay on plan, you can use stuff you've got in the house. And you know what, lo and behold, I can. So um, please excuse the mess because I need to do like a big kitchen sweep in a minute. But basically behind me here, um, ignore this saucepan, that one. <laughs> um, that's from yesterday because I'm disgusting and I didn't clear up after myself yesterday. But I've got some spaghetti boiling over here. And then over here, I've got sauteing. Um, actually, do you know what? I'm gonna flip that and show you. So I've got some um, aubergine, red onion and butternut squash. And I've just put um, 10 sprays of the Tesco oil. I will show you this one. Um, you get five sprays for half a sin. So I've just used one sin of oil. Um, so that's that. Um, and then the veg is just sauteing in that. Some spaghetti is boiling and then ignore the rubbish. And then this is a cheese sauce that I made. Um, obviously not actual cheese. Um, it's vegan cheese style, I suppose you would say. But basically, it's a nine ingredient recipe and it's really, really good. And I found it on um, the Facebook group. Just realized while I'm chatting to you, it's probably better to, to be facing you. Um, but yeah, I found it on the Facebook, the Vegan Slim World Members Facebook group and um, there's a link to an external site. So it just happens to be really low sin. So it's really good. Oh my God, something to the light. So it's made of silken tofu as a base. So it's a pack of silken tofu and then it's um, some smoked paprika, salt, I've forgotten everything that's gone into it, oh, garlic powder, onion powder, white wine vinegar, nooch, and there's two other things that I've totally forgotten. But, oh yeah, some um, plant-based milk, and then something else, just one last thing that I can't remember. Anyway, I had everything in for it last night, so I was like, yes, I'm gonna do that. Anyway, so I'm having vegetable spaghetti with this tofu sauce, which of course will form the protein element. That's half the sauce. Um, the amount that I've got there is three and a half sins. With the oil, it's four and a half sins. So a bit more than I would like at this point in the day. Um, but do you know what? I'm happy just to be on plan right now because that's my biggest struggle, as always. Right, I've just drained my spaghetti and I've added the cheese sauce to the, cheese sauce to the spaghetti. Um, so I'm just to get it heated through and then I'm just gonna literally serve it with the vegetables. I've got no greens, but I'll have some tonight. Okay, yeah, so this is the finished product. Not the most advertising looking thing I've ever made. It will be tasty though. Um, obviously just the cheese sauce, three and a half sins, like I said, with whole wheat spaghetti and then a whole red onion, half an aubergine, and like a chunk sort of that big of the butternut. Well, I'll show you the rest of it. That's the rest. So I just had like the top part um, peeled and put it in things. And then I just did it in the oil, which was one sin. And sorry about my bird. And then I um, uh, just sauteed it with the lid on. I didn't actually really saute it. I just left it to get on with it. So <laughs> um, hopefully it's all cooked, but if not, it doesn't matter because it should all be fine. And it's vegetables, so yeah, I'm sad there's no green, but it'll do. I actually just decided to add a little bit of my steak seasoning on there, um, because I feel like it's got some garlic and stuff in it, and salt and that, so yeah, that'll do. Um, yep. Okay, so I'm just going to get on and eat this, and then I'll catch up with you later.
well that was quite a lot of food so actually I've only managed to eat half and I have all that left so I'm going to actually save that for my lunch tomorrow so because that was um three and a half sins I'm just going to round it up to four and then call it two for the portion that I've had um and then obviously add I wait one for the oil so it's four and a half so five so, all right, so two and a half sins then um yeah, so I'm going to call it two and a half sins for my lunch and have lunch made for tomorrow now. So, happy days. Right, it's now sometime after lunch and I'm just having my coffee. It's a little late in the day, but that's fine. This is just a heaped teaspoon of percol. This is the one I use. Um, I might just have a little bit more, actually. This is just to have a little pick me up because I haven't had any coffee today and I do usually have coffee every day so this kettle just boiled and what I do is just make a little bit there give it a good stir and it goes lovely and foamy I don't know why this coffee is so different but there's something about it that just makes it work anyway then I have some coconut milk that I've heated up. If any of you watch my videos regularly, I'm sure you'll have seen me make this before, but basically we just add that to that and done. Um, and that is my coffee. Now, I did actually forget that I was making this and wandered off for like 10 minutes reading recipe books, which are full of cakes, which was the worst thing I could have done. So total disclosure there. I'm craving cake right now, but, um, so I was like, ooh, what's a healthy way I can do it? I know, make my own. Sorry about the bird. And, um, basically, yeah, I decided not to, but I just had a flick through the whole of Miss Cupcake's book, which is great. Anyway, so these little bits are because I forgot about my heated milk, and so it just got a bit of a skin on top, but apart from that, it's absolutely fine. So I'm going to go drink my coffee and pretend it's cake. <laughs> also I'm still tidying up the kitchen because I'm feeling really quite unenthused today. <laughs> so I said I wanted to do some planning so I'm now sat out in my garden. I've got all my Slimming World recipe books out because I want to try and use them because I have them for a reason. Um, I'm, I'm also going to try and consolidate all these random scraps of paper and bits I've torn out from the magazine. Um, and try and write them down and just veganize them so that it'll be something that I actually want to make and gives me some good ideas. At the moment, um, I've got my planner. I'm also just catching up on today. So I've written down everything that I've had today so far, which is everything that I've showed you guys. So I'm on just on two cents, so I'm more than happy with that because um, it's now five o'clock. And um, I've just got a new pack because I've just started over. So, um, I'm gonna put some meal planning in the back of this one because I do like these planners. So um, you can write down your meal plan in there, but obviously I need to actually find some things to plan. So that'll be that. I've got my little pen, always believe in yourself. And that's from Fabulous Planning, which is the same as my diary is. And you can, oh, they've got these funky stickers as well. Um, you can also make your dreams come true. Um, just visit fabulousplanning.co.uk and if you want 10% off, use my code YT10. This isn't sponsored, it's just a code I have for you. Anyway, this is um, a brand new book I have, which I've had for ages, because I have loads of stationery, so I'm just gonna use this to put my planning and recipes in, because I finished my old book. I've got all my Slimming World recipe books there, so plenty of fodder, but what I tend to do is get very caught up in writing down loads of recipes I want to try, whereas what I actually need to do right now to plan for the week is just write down ones that I actually want to make this week. So this is the hard bit. And then this is all the random bits of paper and notes and scribbles and things from magazines. I've spilt stuff on them, they're really minging. So I just wanna consolidate that and write it down in here. And then um, I've got my water. I've had three bottles now, so that's cool. Um, and then, because I just fancied something sweet, I'm just having this pink lemonade, which is free. Um, and it's really yummy, so yeah. Right, would you believe <clears throat> 
It's an hour and a half later, so it's half past six now, and I haven't actually done a whole meal plan. Um, <laughs> this is now the state of the table. Um, basically, I've done some, so I'll show you. So, I haven't quite finished my drink, um, but I'm getting really hungry now. So, um, in terms of my book and my organisation, um, I've just got some pages at the back for breakfast, lunch and dinner and snack ideas, which I haven't filled out yet. I've written out a few recipes that I wanted to keep, so that's good. And then that'll all be at the back and then at the front I've got my meal planning for this week. So these are recipes I'm going to make this week um, based on what I have in the house. Um, all of these are doable and I will have something left over that I can't remember. Um, Obviously, I've written what I need to buy um, to be able to make this stuff. I do have quite a lot of stuff in the freezer as well. So I'm thinking I might just buy some mushrooms because I've got Linda McCartney sausages. So I might buy mushrooms and have mushrooms and sausages and maybe spinach and tomatoes for my breakfast. I don't really know. But right now I'm really hungry. So I need to think about dinner. And I'm going to do potato wedges, I think. So... Um, and maybe with this kind of chickpea burger thing that I've just come across. Hey guys, so I'm just going to get my potatoes out. I keep them in these, this big thing. I did have one of those potato bag things, but um, I just, I didn't like not being able to see what I had, so yeah, now, two potatoes may seem excessive, but <laughs> I am quite hungry and I'm more than happy to have leftover potato wedges if I do too much. I would rather cook too much than too little. So I'm gonna get the oven on, I'm gonna get these chopped, put on a baking tray quickly just to get them going before I walk to the shop. It's because they'll take longer than the um, chickpea things, so. Yeah, I always do my wedges. I'm quite good at them, I've been told. I always just pop it, can you see? I always pop it in half, and then that in half, and then that in half. Just easy. I think it just seems logical, but someone said to me the other day that they were very impressed with how my wedges looked. So, how much can you see? Can we zoom? We cannot zoom, okay. The perils of working with only an iPhone to my name because I don't have any fancy equipment as is fairly obvious by my videos. So there we go. It's just got a little rooty bit at the end so I'll get rid of that. Um, I'll just do the same with the other one and show you in a sec. Hi! Okay, this is not the most flattering angle <laughs> but no, no, because I'm too fat. So, set the bird off. Delta, her name is. Um, I just realised I've been looking at the wrong thing, so sorry that I've not been looking properly into your eyes. Um, anyway, I'm just going to put some of this chip seasoning on my wedges, and I'm just going to put them in like they are. No fry light, no oil, nothing. Because I use the silicone baking mat, so as long as you put them like cut side down um they go really really nice and crispy on that side and then i try and remember but sometimes i forget um just to turn them over when they've probably got like 15 minutes to go but i never time anything so that's kind of hard to predict but anyway i just have that horrible thing you know where your spices get they go like solid in the bottom of the jar so um, I just had to kind of try and dig it out, but there we go. Right, so not very evenly done, but it'll taste good. So we'll get those in. So this is my local pub, the old spot. If you're ever in Dursley, that is the best pub. Kind of high street, I guess, but it's pedestrian only. The shops are shut, there's a pub down there. Well, it suddenly got dark while I was out, 
or good as. Um, so I'm just gonna have sausages. So I'll put them in when I get back. Hey guys, I'm back and I'm roasting. Um, it's actually quite a warm breeze outside, so that was a bit of a shock. And it's now dark as well. So um, I've got home and actually my wedges are probably done. Um, I've just thrown in a whole pack of Linda McCartney sausages, the normal ones, they're half a sin each. I didn't have any red onion and rosemary and they did have them on offer in Sainsbury's but I didn't get any because I don't want to like overstock myself. I don't have that much storage here. I, uh, I'm just gonna turn over the wedges. I've put the sausages on the top. I'm gonna turn these over and it doesn't burn me too bad. Ow, <laughs> which is not looking likely. I just wanna show you, this is the underside. They go really, I don't know if you can probably appreciate it, but they go really crispy and nice. So I'm just gonna flip them all and then pop them back in. And I've got some veg, I've got some leek, broccoli and courgette. Um, I don't know if I'm, I was gonna say I don't know if I'm gonna have broccoli, but yeah, I am gonna have broccoli because I need something, a dark green leafy vegetable or whatever, and I'm sure broccoli counts, so. Hi again. So I'm just quickly chopping up some veg for my accompaniment and I'm just going to steam it. So I always just put, you can't even see, it's just it's such a small amount of water that I can't really show you. Um, and then I put pop the veg in and I put the lid on top. So I'll just show you that. Okay, my veg is coming on really well. So I'm just going to get my stuff out of the oven because it's definitely all done now and um, dish up. I can't even show you how crunchy the wedges are. Well, actually, I probably can put a few on the plate. Some of them, when I was gonna turn them over, broke apart, but just look, and there's no oil or anything on that. That's just pure baking with the silicone baking sheet, which gives it this nice shiny kind of thing. This is like one where it fell apart, but then of course when I turn it over, it goes crispy, so. Yum, and sin free, of course. So by putting the lid on and just having that small amount of veg in, uh, water in the bottom, and then the veg on top, you basically create like a steam environment. I've just drained off a bit of water and I'm just left with my perfectly cooked leeks, courgettes, and broccoli. And here we have the finished product. So I've had my dinner and I have got 12 pieces of Bourneville chocolate. These are one sin per square. Um, so I'm just having, it's basically three lines, three lines of chocolate. Um, and this is what I've had today. Um, I feel like I could have had more speed, but it's not been too bad. I get 20 sins a day. Um, so... I'm on 15 and a half right now, and that'll be it because I'm just watching a little bit of Jersey Shore um, <laughs> and um, going to eat my chocolate and I'm going to drink my tea. I've got a cup of tea, but it's in the kitchen, so you can't see it. Um, but yeah, that'll be me done for today. So that's that. So thanks for watching. And um, this wasn't probably my most interesting what I eat in a day, but Delta. She's such a moody little what's it. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, this probably wasn't my most interesting what I ate in a day, so I do apologise, but at least it, it just shows some foods that you can have even when you're not, you know, doing anything fancy or anything like that. You know, just normal life. And sorry I didn't have breakfast. Um, I do normally, but um, it's usually just oats or something, so nothing too exciting. But anyway, if you did like this video, um, please do like the video. And if you want to see more like this, then do subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click the little notification bell if you want to get notified when I drop a new video. I do aim for every Sunday, but at the moment this is a little bit fewer and far between. So um, I'll try my better. Okay, thanks. Bye.